What's up everyone, welcome to the video and today I'm going to be showing you how to digitalize your VHS tapes. Now if you haven't seen the first video on if VHS cameras are worth it, I suggest going to the link in the bio and watching that because it's going to be going over some of the gear that I have here. Now there are many ways to digitalize VHS footage, but I believe that this method is the quickest, fastest, simplest, and cheapest way to digitalize your VHS footage using the least amount of equipment. You already have a VHS camera, and that is going to be step one of this process, which is to use this as your playback device. This is going to be connected to your computer using a capture cable, which is relatively cheap on Amazon, and then we're going to be using a free software called OBS Studio to digitalize the footage. Now I'm going to mention the problems that I ran into with digitalizing VHS footage so you do not run into the same problems. Number one is the inconsistent battery life that I had mentioned in the other video with VHS cameras. This is an issue because if it dies during the recording, it could be a long, lengthy process that's not fun. To get around this issue, most likely your VHS camera came with a charging station and then another core that connects directly to the camera. Now this is for playback on your VHS camera, which will give it continuous power, which means you don't have to put in a battery and keep charging batteries. You're just going to plug this into an outlet and it will constantly keep your camera charged and plugged in. If you don't have this, then you may be able to find an adapter that will let you charge your camera or you can just bite the bullet and use the batteries and constantly charge them and record your footage. Now the second potential problem involves the capture cord that I'm going to be using. This is the Elgato cable which is a more expensive cable which is the reason that I got it. I wanted to have high quality and good video but this ultimately worked against me because the Elgato software that I used in my first VHS footage video did not turn out well. I tried it on my MacBook and it was outdated software and it did not work very well and some of the videos got corrupted after they had been recording for about an hour. Another thing is if you use the Elgato capture cable on Mac OS and you don't use the Elgato software, it will not work with OBS. So you need to find a PC to use the Elgato capture cable correctly. So for all of these reasons, I suggest not getting the Elgato video capture, getting a more simple video capture device because number one, it will save you money, and number two, it will allow you to use that capture cable on any OS device that you have, which will make this process a lot simpler. The third problem that you can run into, but it's not a problem that I ran into, is sometimes these tapes will be old and dusty and it will be hard to read. I will link a cleaner to these VHS tapes and a video on how to clean these. I will not be doing that in this video. I will assume that you have a clean tape and that it works correctly, but check the links in the bio if you need to clean your tapes before recording the video. Now with all that set aside, let's start digitalizing our VHS tapes using OBS Studio. The first step is to plug your power source into your VHS camera, set your camera into VCR mode, and then put your tape into your VCR and rewind it all the way to the beginning. Next step is to get your display cable that should have came with the camera and plug this into the camera and into the capture cable. And then you're going to want to go ahead and plug your video capture into your computer of choice USB. Alright, so now that all the physical work is done, we're going to download OBS and then we're going to start recording our VHS footage. So we're going to look up OBS and you're going to go to obsproject.com and we're going to want to download. I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm going to download the installer. Once this is done, we're going to go through the installation process. Click yes, next, next, install, finish. And now we're going to open up OBS Studio. So the software may look confusing, but I'm just going to run you through the simple settings. And you can always repeat this video if you don't know what to do. And if you have any other trouble, you can reset the software by maybe uninstalling and reinstalling to get it back to a state where it's going to be working correctly. And we'll go from there. Okay, so in OBS, we have two things. We have scenes and we have sources. Scenes is just a group of sources. And we are going to go down here first hit the plus icon and we are going to create a scene which we are going to call VHS Capture. Now the types of sources that we're going to have are our audio source and our video input source. So we're going to go about creating that now and then start recording our video. So the source that we're going to add is a video capture device. This is how our USB capture card is going to be read. So I'm going to call this Video Capture USB and we're going to make sure that this is visible and we're going to hit OK. 
And now in our next menu, we are going to be here and we are going to see the types of stuff we have. See, we have webcam, which is recording my duct tape on my computer. But in here, we want to do the name of your video capture. Mine is the Elgato video capture. Yours might look at like something like USB 2.0 video capture or something else similar. So we're going to click that. None of these other settings in the Elgato video capture technically matter. So we can go ahead and click OK. Now we can see we have a small screen and this is our VHS footage. If I go and wake my camera up, we should see some input on the screen. So now I'm going to hit play. And you can see we have some VHS footage that is showing up on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. So now we're going to go about and make this bigger. So we're going to right click this and we are going to fit this to screen. So we can go into transform down here and fit this to screen. Now I don't recommend stretching this any more than it already is because it will kind of get messy. So we're just going to leave it like it is and have this like this with the black bars on the side. Okay, so now that we have our video capture set up and fit to screen, we're going to go ahead and add our audio. So we're going to go down where we added our video capture USB, and now we're going to go to audio input capture, and we can just put audio input USB. So now we are going to want to select that same analog audio in as you can see this is the elgato video capture and this is the same thing that we're going to want to use because we want to make sure that the same cable is sending us the video and the audio so make sure that it is the same usb device okay so we have our audio set up we have our video set up and now we're going to go ahead and make sure that the video quality is what we want so the last thing we have to do is go to the controls panel on the right side and click settings and here we are going to adjust a few things we are going to go to the video tab and we're going to make sure that this is set to your screen resolution and uh, FPS will just set to 30 and then we're going to go to our outputs and we're going to make sure that we are saving this to a location that we want. You can see I'm saving this to my desktop and then we're going to want to make sure that our recording format is MP4. You can select MOV but definitely do not select anything else like FLV, MKV, TS. That just will not work correctly and you will not have a file that you can play easily this in the recording quality i honestly think that you can get away with smaller file sizes so high quality medium file size is definitely better than any of the other file sizes because most likely you're going to be taking this vhs video and you're going to be sharing it on google drive or youtube and you don't want large file sizes because it's going to be harder to store it on google drive if you run out of space it's going to be hard to share it if it's too big so honestly since the footage is not that high quality i would just go with the lower quality because it's vhs footage at the end of the day so just save it at a small file size and then be able to upload it and share it as many places as possible instead of being restricted with such a large file that it's hard to share there are a few audio settings that we could go into but i'm going to keep this simple and we are just going to hit apply and okay and then we are good to start recording our video Okay, so now we are ready to start recording our video. Now that we've went through the settings, we have our audio and our video channel set up to our scene. So we're going to go and we're going to hit the start recording button. We're going to make sure that our VHS camera on the side is awake and ready to play. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the play button and we should see the video showing up on the screen. So now we can see the video showing up on the screen and we can also see that we have audio capture coming into the program so we're going to go ahead we're going to let this run a little bit we're going to make sure that this saves correctly and then i'm going to make sure that the audio is also correct once that's all done then you can start from the beginning of your videos and you can actually let this run for an hour or until the end of the tape and stop it and you will have this large file size with your vhs footage completely digitalized so i'm going to go ahead now and stop this footage and then once that is stopped, I'm going to hit stop recording and this should save it to that file location that we saved earlier in the video. So here's the video. We got our boy, uh, Kermit the Frog over there. He's watching, watching out for our boys. And there it is. I can hear the audio. I can see the video and it looks great. It has that VHS quality and i'm very happy with this and i hope you guys do well digitalizing your footage so that's how to digitalize your vhs footage if you have any questions leave them below and i will answer them and try to troubleshoot with you if you have any issues i'd love to see your vhs videos so send them to me on instagram or twitter i'd love to see them and finally subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because i'm going to be teaching you about film cameras photography vhs and other ways to capture your life and make memories i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.